to Ontario in the um, fall of uh, 1971. And I know this, I have the uh, build sheet for the car. The car was owned by the first owner until um, 1974. It was sold for uh, $1,300 to the next uh, owner. And I know this because I've spoken to that second owner. The car originally, I think, was around $2,300. It was uh, held by the second owner from 74 till uh, 81 uh, and purchased uh, by the next guy until I bought it from him in 1987. Uh, the car, when I, when I bought the car, it was uh, clearly being used on the strip. It had uh, uh, slicks on the back, had a drive shaft loop, um, was oversized uh, 850 uh, Holly on it, um, which wasn't very streetable. In any event, um, 87 on has helped when I've, uh, I've had this car since. The car has had a number of repaints, all by me. Interestingly enough, uh, the car was ordered stripe delete, uh, the side stripe delete, um, but it had a tail stripe. Uh, when I had the car in, in its final incarnation, as we see here, I have the side stripes on it, but no tail stripe. I just that's what I like. Um, I didn't realize um, what the uh, build sheet um, when decoded uh, was the exact opposite of what I've done here. Now the '71, uh, this car has got the proper motor and transmission still in it. It came with a 323 rear end. I now have a 410 gear in it in the rear end. The engine's been rebuilt uh, completely, and the transmission also was uh, has been rebuilt. Actually, just at the end of last year, 2019. I painted the car first, a marina blue, to match my Corvette at the time. That was um, back in '88. I then had it uh, painted uh, purple, uh, in violet purple. That would have been around '90. And then in 2000, uh, the car was getting tired, um, so I decided to go the full route with it and um, do a full, a full rebuild of the car. And what sits on there now is B5 blue. The build sheet is actually B7 blue. When the car was uh, going to be painted, um, they painted the trunk, the hood, the door jams. The car was disassembled as much as it could be. Um, and when, when, I first, when I saw the B7 applied to the uh, to the car, I didn't like it, so I had it uh, changed to B5. I don't pretend to have, think the car is, uh, or tried to keep the car original. I call it, uh, what's the term they use now, the uh, Day 2 cars, Day 3 cars. So there's some modifications to the original car, to my taste. Uh, for instance, the car came with a bench cloth seat. Um, and of course, uh, cloth, or uh, back seat, of course, I don't go with it. When I bought the car, it had racing buckets in it. That was part of the uh, setup for the guy that owned it before me that was racing the car. Um, I put in 75 buckets, just because I like them. Um, and it's got the proper 71 duster blue color, but with the 75 buckets. Funny enough, when, the, uh, when they sent me the uh, interior uh, covers from Legendary, the 75 rear seat uh, covers wouldn't fit 71 because there was no notch back for the uh, seat belts in the back. Um, so I had to put a new seat button in the back to make the uh, covers uh, work. Inside, there's a full array of uh, auto meter gauges, oil, fuel and, wa fuel and water, and an auto meter uh, phantom tack. Um, I used to have the tack up on the dash, but I don't pound the car anymore, so I didn't need to have that in my face. Uh, if I do get up to the, um, to the shift light, it glows bright and I can see it if I need to shift it, but I say I don't drive it very hard anymore. Not like in days gone by. And it's a Grant steering wheel. Again, it's not the proper steering wheel. Uh, the car didn't come with the right steering wheel when I bought it, so uh, that's, the, that's the wheel I put on it. Uh, all the interior was done by Legendary. The, the carpets, uh, the dash pad, um, the headliner, package tray. Got that right. It's all American made stuff. Um, save and accept the dash panel. That's a new dash panel. I have the original one, but it was pretty weather looking. And the dash panel was actually uh, uh, made in China, and that's the only thing on this car. 
that's not quite right. Um, the workmanship on that is uh, is not the greatest. Um, to the naked eye, like looking at it at a glance, it's okay, but looking at the finer details, the quality build is just not there. Unlike everything else, which I've sourced from uh, the USA, including all the glass, it's all new glass in the car. I think it was a factory in Alabama had the glass shipped up, shipped up here. I did put the 73 hood scoop on it. Um, the car came with a flat hood. Of course, that that scoop was not offered in uh, 71, but I liked it. And uh, the thing about it is I don't know how much air it brings into the motor, but it certainly helps dissipate heat. 